Good rising everyone. Today is the 27th of January around 10.30 a.m. and today I'm gonna explore a bit of Chiang Mai. I'm just gonna walk the street and explore the city. I have until 1 p.m. because at 2 I booked myself a, a fruit craving lesson. So that's going to be a new cool skill I'm going to learn and then when I get back home I can make myself a decorative fruit party. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be cool. Okay, so let's go explore and see what we're going to find out on our way. They have a little shrine here just in the entrance. It's really colorful. Oh, they have banana trees everywhere. This is some beautiful view. <laughs> nice decoration, Carl. Wow, check this beautiful bridge. So the best you need to press this button and then they give you like six seconds. I might have spotted another pass, uh, but let's see. Okay, no dogs, no alcohol, no smoke, no trashing, no equalizing. <laughs> I wonder what the last one means. Oh, this is pretty. And this is a bowl, yeah, that's so cool. So that's how they do those uh, cool decorative animals. Is this a bunny? Might be a bunny. I'm still not sure what the last one means. No marketing here maybe? Not doing sales? This is some great little park. Now let's just find me some deserted corner with no trees. Gone. So many butterflies, and this is a monkey, I think. Well, how to tell because they still don't have all of the uh, furry leaves on. So they have the bridge, all oh, this pretty road. Let's take this pretty road. Let's see where she lives. <laughs> I feel like Hal is on her way to meet the uh, Wizard of Oz just instead of yellow bricks I get those grey ones decorated with flowers I'll take that We went to see the wizard, the great Wizard of Oz Gonna fulfill her wishes Hello butterfly Oh, the toilet, so that's where it leaves <laughs> Indeed, very important spot to find when you're in the need. Okay, and another small bridge here. It's so pretty. Mmm, challenging stairs, just the way I like it. Especially with this dress. Haha, <laughs> but I managed. Okay, so I found some open spot here to fly my drone where you can see clear sky. Okay. There were two as I wanted to activate it, told me I enter a restricted area. Apparently there is airport nearby. So 
I cannot uh, fly my drone. It is like bummer, but okay, I get it. Okay, instead I'll give you these ground shots of butterflies and flowers, which is also okay. Oh, that's cool, look, this bridge has a mouse. It's actually a dragon. <laughs> Don't bite me. <laughs> it's so cute. Let's give him a pet. Good boy. Good dragon boy. Here we go. Smile. It makes crossing so much easier and less stressful. He seemed really shy. Like, did I make the right decision? Should I marry him? I, I need more time with him. That's a cool ball dress. Really colorful. Restaurant should be right here, Amarita Garden. I think, yeah, that's what's outside. <laughs> what were you scared of? This dog reminds me of uh, my brother dog, Venus. He also have a German Shepherd. Okay, so it's right here. Oh, beautiful entrance. Okay, so this is the menu. Really lovely. Uh, I love the fabric. It all seems like so natural wise. And sitting, it's morning, I feel like dessert. So here we are, the dessert section. I think I'm gonna take the rare, raw mango cheesecake. I also have smoothie balls, so I feel like trying one. I'm debating between the grace dough with the strawberry, banana, soy yogurt, and date and the tropical spirit with pineapples, banana, orange and coconut milk. Those are the cakes. I ordered the chocolate one. And they also have the happy cow sign. Oh, some earrings. I love earrings. Puffy little pillows. Those ones are also pretty. I'm guessing they're handmade here. Oh wow, look at this necklace. What a statement. So they give you this uh, sign number that you need to put on the table. I also have those non-recycled bamboo straw. <laughs> we never saw a straw like this. I thought it's a dog color. <laughs> My sketchbook melts so well here with all of the nature texture. I just got the chocolate cake and the smoothie bowl and they both look glorious. Look how lovely. Okay, let's dig in. Itadakimasu. Wow, so thick. I feel a bit dirty, so I'm gonna mix the two. Wahaha. I'm gonna build myself a new cake. Wow. Gonna be three floors of chocolate with a strawberry filling. Okay. I think I just invented a new cake. Okay, now I just need it to hold. Voila! I got a smoothie for takeaway and apparently they don't give straw but it's funny I did save a straw uh, from Bangkok that I got and didn't use and 
somehow I had intuition I will need it. I remember packing everything. I'm like, yeah, let's throw it away. Why would I need this one? And then I had like this sharp intuition that told me, no, just put it in your suitcase. And I did. And lo and behold, now I need it. Victory! Little doggy. Even the dogs here seem so calm. I'm just like chilling in the sun. Okay, so time now is almost 1 p.m. One of my favorites, definitely at the top comfortable ones. So this is the jackfruit tree. You can see a tiny jackfruit right there. And this is the dragon fruit tree that looks like cactus. Um, palm sugar fruits. This one. That's right, the palm fruits. Oh, I made And this it. one is uh, the local uh, snack made from the it's like coconut eating. Whoa! Yeah. And, and this, one, this one is also the young coconut. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it. It's a sticky rice um, with coconut milk with uh, palm sugar. And they when they steam it, they put the butterfly pea color. It's a flower that gives you a blue color. It's lovely. It's a not natural, natural so color. It's natural color. Yeah, know? yeah. It's a very really light blue. Wow. And yeah, inside is uh, the filling is uh, yam coconut. Oh my god, I never ate something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and grill it. Oh wow, that's amazing. Mmm. Yes. You success if you not cut yourself. You're <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. We have like simple goals yeah. to not cut yourself. Yeah, that's right.
be careful not cut it all the way yeah okay around here okay Wow. So you can see it's very stiff. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the, with the hair. Okay, I'm gonna try it for the first time in my life. Trying oh it's gone. Mmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is very rapid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And this is the first of the season. Wow, I love it. You like it? Really mm -hmm. like it. Look at that. <laughs> uh, big, big handle here. So if we can place some, some of the topping inside in, the yeah, basket. In, yeah. So we will draw it first. After this, we will cut it. So you just draw it with this one and. Take the one that didn't turn up. Mmm, okay. So from sweet. Israel. What? Is it different from Israel? We have more huge one, right? The same. Yeah, we have a bigger one. Wow. Yeah. It's a bit sweeter. It kind of looks like a face. You have eyes and a nose. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, so I just got back from my food craving lesson and it was amazing. One of the best experience I had in Thailand, not even just Chiang Mai. Uh, the teacher and her husband was so lovely and funny and really warm, uh, warm kind people. She was so sweet, she let me try a fruit I haven't tried before called uh, Sahala, Sala, I hope I pronounce it right. Uh, which is like a tiny, small uh, fruit uh, with the color orange and it tastes like a sweeter version of a uh, mango. Uh, yes, yeah, so thank you for letting me try it. She said it's not really all their season right now, so they're a bit more expensive. But if I'm gonna find some on the market, I'm gonna get me some because it was so good. And the lesson itself, whoop. Uh, it was amazing. She really was really patient and guided me through the steps and I learned a new skill. Uh, I know really basic, I'm still on the noob level, but I know the basic skills of uh, fruit craving, Calvin, fruit, fruit Calvin. So when I go back to Israel, uh, I can use it maybe if I'll do some fruit party. She, she said they actually use those fruit Calvin when not just for decoration like in hotels or stuff but when they uh, celebrate some events like ball days or even funerals or other like uh, special events uh, they do those uh, Calvin because they put a lot of effort into it so it's to mention to someone how much uh, they care and that's the way to express their emotion because she said a lot of uh, Thai people don't just express it with words, they exp express it with their action and fruit carving is one way to do it. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to try it. Maybe for Lan and birthday I can carve some uh, tomatoes and carrot and cucumbers because I learned some tricks. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that was for this experience. And now I'm gonna go to the night market, which is today, because today is Sunday. And the teacher also uh, told me there is another market for fruits that I like so much. Uh, and she pointed on the map for me, so I can check it as well. So yeah, now I'm gonna explore Chiang Mai and find some delicious fruits. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you there.